Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be installing Nessus, also known as Tainable. It's a vulnerability scanner. I'm gonna be installing this quickly onto my Kali machine, which I'm gonna be integrating with my lab that I'm running in my house. So I just wanted to make a quick video on me installing that. And today is Thanksgiving, so I just wanna wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving and to you and your loved ones and all that good stuff. So if you guys are ready for the video, let's jump into it. All right, so here we are on my Cali machine. So you know the deal, please like, subscribe and share. I think I forgot to say that, but I'm almost at 50,000, so Let's get to there and we're gonna have some fun at that milestone. I still can't believe I'm almost at 50,000 subscribers. And I know there's people like John Hammond just hit a million subscribers. So I don't know, John, if you ever watch my videos, but if you do, congratulations on that milestone, dude. You're, you're killing it. So keep up the good work. One day I'll be like you. No, I'm just kidding. But um, so what I wanna do here is install Tainable on my Cali box. And you, we can download it. We can just go right to Google, Tainable, Linux, and we can go right to the downloads page here. And we can use this curl command. So I want to do that quickly. I'm just going to copy that. Hopefully that copied. And I want to paste that here. And of course, it didn't do that. Let's see if I can just copy it all here. And try to paste that. Okay, it did. Here we go. So now it pasted that. So if I do an LS, we can see that it's here. So now we just have to uh, use the, um, now we just have to uh, take the package and download it, right? So DP, whoops, A G, and then we're gonna do a dash I, and then that's this, all right? So now this is gonna go ahead and un unpackage that or install it or whatever you wanna call it. So now you, it's installed. It downloaded it, it unpackaged it, it's setting it up and all that good stuff. Everything is good, everything passed. So that's a good sign. If we come all the way down here, you can start the service by typing bin system CTL start service. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. I'm gonna go ahead and just paste that here. Okay. Whoops, did I do something wrong? Uh, do, 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 do. I'll Let's see, what did I do? Did I do anything? System ATL. All right, let's just, let's try this. Really quick, let's do sudo bin slash system CTL start service. That's really strange. Uh, then go to, so let me try, give me one second. Let's do this really quick. Then, and then let's go to system CD bin. All right, let's do an LS really quick. Let's see if we can see this system. Oh, there's a lot of here, system, right there, system. Let's just do this, LS grep system CTL. It's there, all right, so Let's just go system CTL start right there. And then Nessus USD. Uh, there we go. All right. Let's hit enter here. Fail to not found. That's really weird. It says it's there. Let's go ahead and just Let's just see if we can just go to this URL. Let's copy this and just go right to it. See if we uh, get any luck. No, oh, it is started. That's really strange. Okay. I don't know. That's really weird. If you guys were into that too, just let me know. But everything is working. And we, I guess we can see that the, the process is started, which I don't understand. But anyhow,
All right, so let's go ahead and continue here. And register for essentials. I already skipped this. I have a code. Where is my code? Let me get to my code. Pictures, snapshots. And right here. So I want to put this on another screen really quick. Let me make this bigger so I can see it. All right. It's perfect. So let me just put this in. BLBS dash. I don't know if I can I copy this. No, can't copy that. All right. So let's go ahead and just type it in. XCWF dash H seven D A dash nine B B C. All right, it's fine. My username, I'm using name at InfoSec Pat and my fancy password. <clears throat> Let's save it, that's fine. All right, so it's gonna go ahead and download the plugins and all that good stuff. And once this is installed, <clears throat> excuse me, once that's installed, I wanna go ahead and X out of that over there. Once this is installed, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a quick scan and I'm gonna go ahead and scan one of the machines in my network. So let's go ahead and just do this really quick. Um, we can come here and forget about that. That's really weird. So I'm gonna do is gonna do an ARP scan dash L and see what's in my network. And I'm just gonna, you know, this is my local network that's running in my house and that's all good in the hood. You guys can see what, whatever you wanna see. So what I wanna do here is I want to scan it against one of my, what is this machine? If config, I don't even know my IP. Am I at 20? No, I'm at 21. All right. So I don't know what this is. Is I'm not sure. But 250 is my Hewitt Packer, my, my server. So I can probably run it against that. Let's try to make sure I can ping it. Make sure it's up. I think it's up. Because it actually responded. All right. Cool, so let's just come back here. All right, so let's create a new scan. Why can't I do a new scan? Let's go ahead and go to settings really quick and system health, no scans, scan alerts. I guess this is just still doing its thing, still updating or whatever. So once this is done doing its updating, Compliant, so it's about 15%. So we'll let that do its thing and then we'll resume once this is done. All right, everyone. So once this, the compiling updates and everything like that, I refresh my screen. So now we can put some targets in here to scan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put 192.168.50. What was that IP address I wanted to scan? 250, right? So I'll just do 250 for now. Okay, submit that. Let's just go ahead and it's gonna discover, see if there's any DNS. So let that scan. And we're gonna go ahead and run. So that's the first machine. Let's go ahead and run scan. And this is gonna just do a basic quick scan, right? So you can actually go in and do different kinds of scans, right? You can go, hey, let's go back to basic scan. It's gonna go ahead and just Run a quick scan. So let's go to all scans. We have basic and we can do new scans. We can do different policies. Obviously you can create new policies, the plugin rules. And let's go ahead and while this scan is going, let's just look around, right? So you can update your software. So, you know, all, you know, update all the components. We can do manual updates. I just updated mine. So mine is pretty, pretty up to date. And you can see the advanced, you can see scanning, all the settings, all the identifiers, all the values of all the scans. You can see logging, making sure all, everything is good, performance, security, miscellaneous, all right, proxy servers, if you connect to any proxies, SNM, uh, SMTP for any mail, <coughs> custom CA. So if you have a certificate, uh, you can post that here. This is just a lab, so I don't have any. Password management, 
You can go ahead and set up a password manager. This is pretty much where I, you know, uh, stay and make sure all my health, my scanners are good. So obviously I have, I don't remember how much RAM I have allocated, I think 16 gigs. So we can see 404 megs are utilized, one scan. So we'll just, you know, you can look, you can look around, see what's, uh, what's happening on your machine. Uh, this failed to resolve any uh, DNS. That's fine because I don't have DNS on that machine. The network, any alerts. Obviously, I have one alert. Notifications. So at 11, what is now? It's 11.36. So, you know, we had some errors. Uh, plugins are done complying and all this stuff. So the whole, the whole update took about 15 minutes, I think. So let's go back to scans. This is probably gonna run and take some time. But as you can see, like it has 13 info in, in information. Let's just click on that. We can see the information ones. So we'll let this do its thing. We'll let this scan and resume once it's done. All right, thank you. All right, so that took, I don't know, 21 minutes it says. So that's not bad. So now we can see the host is done scanning. We can see 26 vulnerabilities, one history, which is the scan from today. So the vulnerabilities is 26. There's one critical. Obviously, it is running ESXi on that. So let's go ahead and click into that and see what the what the vulnerability is. It's VMware ESX ESXi unsupported version detection. So what does this mean? This is saying because you know the one I published excuse me, the, the version I'm running published many years ago. I'm running 6.7. I don't even know if 6.7 came out in 2011. Let me see. When did... Uh, six point seven come out. Was it 2011? Uh end of life. So the end of life, it is end of life, but when did it actually come out? This was, I have no idea. I'm not sure. So I guess just because it's end of life, I don't know when it was actually published that I don't know. So the solution is to upgrade the version to the current, uh, upgrade the version VMware to the current supported version, which is eight or seven. So right now, we're running 6.7. The EOL, which is end of life, was in 2022. So supported seven. So it's saying pretty much update my ESXi server. And maybe I'll do that, maybe I won't. So we can go back and we can see, okay, the next one here. Let's go ahead and click on the next one, critical. So there's a cross-eyed scripting. The solution is to apply the patches, pretty much to patch it up. I knew this one was vulnerable. That's why I wanted to scan this host. So we can see that there's some mixed. Let's go ahead and just see uh, SSL certificate not trusted because it's a self-signed certificate. And you guys get the gist. So what is the point of doing a vulnerability scan? So if you're in-house on a network, you can run Nessus, Rapid7, Qualys, just to make sure you're hardening your systems. For a pen tester perspective, we can run this and see what is exploitable, how can we leverage these vulnerabilities to our advantage, or just you know give this information to the client to have them harden their systems, right? So that's pretty much what I use it for. Like if I'm running it on my home network, which I'm gonna use this to run on my home network, it's just gonna go ahead and see what's outdated to make sure everything is hardened up to date. And if you're running this in a environment for pen testing, if you're a consulting firm and you're running Qualys or Rapid7 or Tainable or whatever uh, uh, vulnerability scanner you're running, it's just you know to inform you that you're outdated and to do your patching. So that's super critical to have. So that's pretty much wraps up this video. I showed you guys how to install it. I know we had that little hiccup in the, in the beginning, but it worked. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Maybe it was just a hiccup. And we set up a scan. We made sure everything is up to date. And we 
look at the results. I don't want to go through every single result. You can do that whenever you scan your network, but I hope this has been informative for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the description below. And again, happy Thanksgiving. Have an awesome day.